Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, today we're going to create uh, well the beginning of a safe slash danger zone. Uh, which means we're going to create the animated uh, HUD elements, UMG elements, that will signify whether the player is inside a safe zone or a danger zone. So the first thing you can do is go to unrealtutorials.com downloadable content textures and download danger zone and safe zone just save them there we go and then just go into the engine <clears throat> and today I'm just using a third-person template. First-person template works just as well. So the first thing we will do is create a new folder. And I'll just call that... Yeah. Animated uh, UMG elements. Whatever. So inside here, we can start by importing our images. like that and we can create a blueprint class actor and I will call that danger zone BP and we can create a user interface widget blueprints and I will just call that zone elements widget yeah and just control s okay so let's start with zone elements and we can let's see take an image drag it down to the canvas panel rename it safe zone zappen and then under appearance brush search for safe safwe <laughs> here we go and give it the size of 250 times 250 like that and just drag it down here to the corner that's where I want it like that now down here is where the fun will happen so you have the animation so click the animation and I will call it safe zone start animation now click that and click add choose safe zone click the plus track uh, no you don't have to do that right now just here click this and take auto key all this way it will automatically add animation keys to whatever you're doing so here hold down the control button and then drag this down and since it's already anchored down here you see if I hold the control I'm, and I can move it like this and I want it here and then anchor it down to the left now you see here's the timeline bar we will drag that to one second and then hold down control again and move this up here and you can see the keyframes right here now remove this disable auto key if you drag the timeline bar you will see it moves so that's perfect now when it has reached it's in the position you could say then we're gonna change the colors just for fun so click plus animation and call this safe zone color animation click that and click add and take safe zone plus track uh, 
color and opacity. You could also just go down here to color and opacity and click add keyframe. And actually that's what we're going to do. We're going to drag this timeline bar to two seconds and click add keyframe. I'm going to do the same in the middle right there. So now we're going to make so it uh, changes color like a pulse pulsating changing color so we can let's see maybe not red um, yeah maybe take red on zero and green on zero and you can see it will pulse like this which is pretty cool so compile and save now go into the graph remove event tick and find your save zone start animation hold control down to get it and drag out from this node and take play animation connect the event constructs to this let's see now drag this out and search for function time and then set timer by function name so now we will take the safe zone color animation and we will drag this down and get that now drag that out and take play animation again and here we will create a custom event so right click and write custom event and we will call that uh, save zone animation event and control A and control C to copy it connect this to the play animation and now go to the set timer by function name function name and control V to copy the same name as this custom event set time to two seconds since that's how long it lasts and enable looping like that okay compile and save now uh, now we need to you know show the widget somehow and we can do that in the level blueprint or we can do it in the blueprint for the first person character but I'm gonna do it in the danger zone blueprint class for now because that makes more sense right now so simply go to the event graph on event begin play drag this out and search for widget create widget find this widget that we're creating what was its name zone elements there we go drag this out and take add to viewport connect targets like that Okay, now compile, save, and drag the danger zone in here just to activate it. Now play, let's see. There's a say zone is appearing and it's pulsating. So this is all a huge ass save zone. Oh yes, so that's cool. Now we will create the danger zone. Oh boy, it's gonna be dangerous. So drag another image down to the canvas panel rename it to danger zone and in the appearance here we got it and give it the size of 250 times 250 and drag this down make sure they are pretty perfectly aligned like that And I'll anchor it down there as well. Now while working with it, I'm just gonna hide the safe zone. So now plus animation and we will take danger zone color animation. This we won't animate it. We'll just animate the colors because it's already there. 
So click the danger zone color animation and take add, take danger zone and add track color opacity. Um, no, you know what? Excuse me, control Z and then set the timeline bar to two seconds and then add track color opacity like that. And then take two, take the bar to 250 and add another keyframe. You can do that up here like that. And then in the middle of it, add another keyframe. Key flame. Put a keyframe right there, man. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, maybe it can just glow darkly. Darkly. You can also set the opacity and, you know, remove it at all. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to set red to zero and have it pulse like this. Maybe we could make the text a little bit. Oh, nah, I don't want it like that. How about this? No, let's not screw around. <laughs> so that's good enough. So now compile and save and go to the graph. And in the set timer by function name, we will drag out this because we're going to create one function for the new one as well. So, you know, just copy it like that. And we're going to give the function name a new name. I'm going to have danger zone animation event and control A, control C to just dubger zone. No, like that. And then copy this, set the timer to one second because that's how long that is, that new one is. Now drag in danger zone color animation and get it. Create a custom event and paste the same name as you put in here. Then drag out this and take play animation and connect danger zone color animation to in animation. Then compile and save. Now we go back to the danger zone blueprints. And we go to the viewport and we add components and that's going to be a collision box. And it's going to be like, I don't know, 15 times 15 times 10, perhaps compile. Let's see. It's pretty, pretty damn, pretty damn big, but that's okay. This is a dangerous zone, so we'll just place it where we want it to be. So I'm just going to have it right here. And for fun, I'm going to add a point light. And it will be red. Pretty intense. So we set up the intensity and here it is. That's good. So we go to the no, we click this collision box, go to the event graph, right click, add event for box, collision, add on the component begin overlap. And we will create one for the end overlap. Like that. So what we what we're going to do now is as you overlap this collision box, we will uh, manipulate whether these layers are hidden or not. So you can just set both of them like this and select the danger zone. And in the details panel, go down to appearance, appearance, and then behavior, and take hidden. This way, danger zone is hidden by default. So compile and save. Now go back to the blueprint class. And then when you overlap the collision box, drag this out and search for visibility, toggle visibility. Mm. Or you know what, just drag it out from the elements widget, 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 widget. <laughs> and then search for visibility. Set visibility. No, that's not right at all. 
visibility context sensitive have it on mm. what's happening set visibility set visibility but the problem is it's the, the target is scene component but that's not what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be the widget there we go okay so no context sensitive and then set visibility and widget down here that's how you do it so you overlap and um, but we'll connect we'll connect them later so Control C, Control V to copy this. Now drag out target, and the target is, let's go back and see, that's safe zone. That will be the first target. So we'll drag out this and search for safe zone. Remember to uncheck the context sensitive and say get safe zone. Safe zone. That's a Z. It's a Z. It's a Z. So in visibility, we will hide this. And we will make the danger zone visible. So danger set get danger zone is visible. Safe zone is hidden. Okay, now copy all of these and paste them down here. Like that. And we'll just inverse it. So we'll take the danger zone hidden and the safe zone visible because that's what's going to happen when you exit the collision box. I hope you're paying attention and I'm making sense. Now connect this. And connect it to this. And all of the targets will be connected to the widget. Because it has to know what which widget it is. Okay, so put on pause right now if you want to double check that it's correct for you. And we will go and see. Remember to compile and save. All right, save, save zone and danger zone. Oh my god, this is a so dangerous zone. Boom, save zone, danger zone. So, surely you can add music and sound effects and whatever you want to this. I have other tutorials describing that, but yeah. Hope this was helpful. Helpful? I hope this was helpful. Yes, bloody slow. <laughs> have a great day and, you know, keep on making some cool ass games. <laughs>